Hello guys, today is Tuesday. We are on, let's see, day 29 of Vlogtober. Gee, this is going by fast. And I am uh, just, I just got out of a really nice long bath, so I'm all, my hair is all wet and my face has no makeup. I don't know if you can tell, I got all the red spots. Again, uh, I seem to get it from, partly from wearing makeup too much or too many hours at a time and also I have this facial cream that I think actually started all of these breakouts for some reason uh, a couple of years ago uh, at least it was immediately after I started using it and it's a, it's a high-end uh, very very good uh, moisturizing cream that I'm using but there seems to be something in it that makes me break out because I I stopped using it and I also talked to the company that makes this and you know just explained what happened and just because I wanted them to know because that some of the customers might have this weird breakout thing. And I didn't realize at the time that it was uh, adult acne, which I think it is now. I, I can't find any other explanation for it, but somehow it seemed to, that uh, moisturizing cream seemed to have been what set it off. So I talked to them about it after, oh, it was more than a year, I was into my second can of that moisturizing cream before I actually started realizing that hey wait a minute maybe it's this one and uh, I emailed them and just to explain what happened and they were so nice and so graceful and they they reimbursed me for my for the both of the creams that I had bought and uh, they sent me I w was uh, given the choice to to choose some products or they can just surprise me so they sent me some Product. I got a really really nice package uh, from them and so you know no shadow on, on them and it was nothing wrong with the cream itself it's just my face that that didn't work for and this is a product or a line of products that I've been using for I think 25 years now so they're really really good and I use all of their other products but this particular one apparently doesn't work with my skin uh, so and like I said it seems that uh, if I use um, well, makeup that covers my, my skin, it uh, it makes it worse. So, I have done that for a few days, so I'm having a lot of red spots. But I'm not sick, I promise you. <laughs> it's I guess I could use this face for Halloween, maybe. Uh, anyway, that's a side note. Um, I just had a really long bath because I realized that it's, it's high time that I decide what I'm going to do with this channel going forward. Uh, October is almost over. I'm kind of on the fence about uh, whether or not I want to, to continue doing my knit cast, my knitting podcast and my sewing podcast and I have pretty much decided to retire those in the format that I have right now and maybe tweak it a little, maybe do something a little bit different and uh, yeah, October is almost over so I, I need to decide well, what's next what's coming up next and i've been doing so much research during this entire month and i've been watching videos and i've been reading articles about you know just just gathering information and, and stuff so that i could could decide what to do and so today i had i'm like i said i'm very well rested actually i'm uh, <laughs> i gotta show you this i'm wearing this activity clock i use this for training but i also use this uh, uh, while sleeping because I w want to keep track of how much I'm sleeping to make sure that I'm on track because you know I have issues sometimes and this is what it recorded last night can you see that hang on a second I'm sorry about the uh, I don't know if you can tell hang on a second I don't know uh, it says 17 hours and 42 minutes of sleep. 17 hours and 42 minutes of sleep last night. <laughs> Not sure how that happened because I didn't even wear the watch for almost 18 hours, like it says. Uh, so I don't know, maybe I fell into a warp time zone, something or other, who knows. Maybe it's one of those black hole holes that sails through, through your house every now and then and eats your every a sock here and there and your keys and your important papers I don't know but I did not sleep almost 18 hours but I did have a really really good night's sleep I slept really late in the day which was not my intention but whatever 
And then I got up and I've been doing some work and then I decided that, you know, I, I really need to get started on this, uh, deciding what to do next. And I decided that, you know, I'm going to take a nice long bath, I'm going to light some candles and, you know, just have a lot of bubbles and stuff and just relax and decide. And I did. I did. I, um... Well, well, I've been researching, you know, what to, what to do when you when you try to build a YouTube channel. One of the things that all the experts are telling you is that you should never make the channel about yourself unless you're already like a celebrity or something, because you're really not that interesting. And I get why they say that because they are. I think most of the creators watching them, trying to learn from them, are young people, and you know, I guess they're they're thought is that if you're a young person you haven't you haven't lived enough to have that much interesting to say or you don't have that much it doesn't happen that much stuff in your life I know I don't know I guess that's what it, what their reasoning is anyway oh I'm sorry am I out of focus hang on a sec yeah okay um, so what I decided is that I'm going to do exactly what they're saying we're not supposed to do. Because I've been reading, I've, I've talked about this before, but I do love reading biographies by all kinds of people and taking part of people's stories and, and lives and things they've been through and, and all that. And currently I'm, I'm reading Jane Fonda's biography and what I'm realizing is that by reading her, she wrote this when she was in her mid-60s. She's 80-ish, uh, 81 something right now. She wrote this when she was somewhere around the mid-60s, mid I think. And currently I'm coming to the point where she's talking about what happens when she's around 40 and, you know, getting up to the age I am now. And she talks about it in a sense of something that happened a while ago and something that she's been through. And that's kind of where the I realized that Whatever happens right now in my life is something that someday is going to be what happened a while ago. Something It's going to be something that I've been through and that I'm done with. And I also realized that I've, I've always been the kind of person who, who's been told by friends and, and so on. Those, those that have heard a little bit of my story, I've always been told that I should write a book about my life because I'm one of those persons who's been through a lot. There's a lot of stuff that has happened to me and, and, you know, I'm just one of those people. And I've always felt that, you know, I just laughed it up and I said that, you know, I, I couldn't do that because nobody would believe it. Uh, because there's so much crazy stuff in there. And I've also always felt that, you know, why would I do that? Why, who, who would be interested in, in reading that? And what I'm realizing now when I'm reading this Jane Fonda biography is that I am personally taking a lot, I'm, not, I'm learning a lot and I'm getting a lot of, you know, this feeling that, you know, things will pass, you will get through this, you will be able to, able to solve things and even though things are at the moment maybe absolutely horrible and horrendous and awful, they will pass. And I'm realizing today that, you know, that's my take back from reading all of these stories. Maybe that's why I love these types of stories so much. I feel that reading about other people's, taking part of other people's stories tells me that I will get through everything as well. Because I've been going through a lot previously and I'm still going through things. And that's where it dawned on me that, you know what? I could share my story, I could share all the things that I've been through with you guys and maybe just one person out there, maybe just one of you, will find some sort of comfort in, in my story, some sort of hope, some sort of inspiration that will help you get through something hard in your life. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start sharing all my stories, I'm not going to put them in a book because I still feel that if I put everything in a book it would be just so crazy and so I think the, the immediate question someone would, would 
come with is how is this even how can one person have all this happen to them? <laughs> so I'm going to to make tiny bits instead and I'm going to make I was thinking maybe twice a week I would do like an episode where I share a story from my life uh, and something that I've been through uh, with you guys uh, and I also want to to do something with the knitting thing and I'm I still feel that I, I think I'm going to retire the knitting podcast and the sewing podcast as they have been previously and I will tweak them and do, do something a little bit different but if everything works out the way I'm hoping right now I should be able to put out a couple of episodes a week on my stories and once a week something about knitting content and, and creative content and uh, yeah I think I'll just start there and, and see where it all goes and see what you guys think if you're, you're interested in, in hearing my stories and the things I've been through um, because there's there's a lot of fun stuff there's a lot of interesting stuff and there's also a lot of hard stuff that I've been through and um, yeah I'm hoping that it, it will be something that you're, you're interested in taking part of so Let's finish this for today. It's getting to be a really, really long video, which was not my intention. I need to go dry my hair. Um, but uh, yeah, a bit of coffee now, and uh, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>